The artist Keith Haring loved drawing people dancing and moving and playing ball and celebrating and doing whatever this is. Today we are going to be drawing, tracing our drawing onto a styrofoam printing plate, coloring it, printing it onto paper, and basically making a stamp of a person in action. This process is called printmaking. So your first job is to decide what do you want your person to do. You can make as many practice sketches as you want. Just make sure that your people are not tiny, tiny. First, draw our regular stick figure once you've got your idea. And then make sure to give that stick figure joints, knees, and elbows. Then, oh, I forgot, I'm going to make like a karate guy because um, I love doing martial arts. Then you're going to give them legs and arms. Make sure that the pose means something. It's not just random. Then you're gonna trace around your stick figure. When I say trace around, I don't mean make a blob. I mean stick close to the edges so that you can really see the shape of your figure. Around your figure in the empty space, you can make some action lines. This is something Keith did to show motion. You can also add some symbols and other stuff. Just don't write words because any words you write will end up backward. Once you're ready for the next step, ask for some tape and you will tape your drawing to the styrofoam rectangle. The not shiny side is the front. Ask if you're confused. Your next job is to trace every line, except of course the middle. You don't want that middle pencil line to show. Um, go over everything and push hard. And once you take off your paper, you'll barely see the lines. So you have to trace it all again. I recommend using this red pen. It will be easier to see your lines, but a pencil works too. I sometimes even trace over a third time just to make sure my lines are super duper deep. Now it's coloring time. Cover your whole styrofoam plate with marker. You can make lots of different prints and color it in lots of different ways. I went for a rainbow on this one. And lastly, I'll talk about this more when it's time. You will take your paper to a printing station. You'll write your name on the back. You will wet the paper, dry it off a little bit with a sponge and place it on this template that I've made for you so that it prints right in the middle. Rub it a little bit, try it to make sure it doesn't move. And if the paper isn't too wet or too dry, you should get a really good print. You might have time to make lots of these today or just one. Now printmaking can be really finicky. That means it can be hard. So if your paper is too dry, you don't get a good print. If your paper is too wet, you won't get a good print. But don't be disappointed. If you get a bad one, all you have to do is take it back, try it again, and keep experimenting until you get a really great image.